guys, what's going on? Okay, so we are two more videos away from, of course, coming up on the test, the final test in regards to written expression. Now, remember what's going to happen is I'm going to upload probably three additional grammar tests for you, okay? And I apologize, but I think a mosquito got me in my back. But anyways, I'm going to be uploading an additional test for you, like legitimate test. So just make sure you stay tuned for that, uh, as well as the structure. So for my folks in structure, if you did buy the structure course for more than half off, um, you're going to be able to obviously take the test over there too, because I'm gonna save it for both, yeah? So in saying that, man, let's get into this. This is a very quick template that we're gonna get into the last video. So today, and well, not today, but in this segment, it's about errors in word order, okay? So I cannot stress enough, I, and remember, I took the, uh, the, the TOEFL ITP more than 20 times last year because I had worked for a testing center. And for whatever reason, they were like, oh, well, we need you to take the test. And me, I should have looked at it for my own benefit. But I looked at it as a way of them looking at me like, you're looking down on me. You don't think I can teach this? So anyways, it was the best thing that ever happened because I got a lot of practice. And I cannot stress enough how many different questions I saw with word order and written expression. And 25 questions, you're going to get anywhere between two to three of them. Okay? So what is word order? Well, let's break this down, okay? <sighs> here is the segment right here. Error. Example, correction. Error. Noun plus adjective. Okay? Normally, you would see a plural countable noun, then the adjective. Driver's careful, but the correction is careful drivers. All right? Another one would be noun plus possessive. You would see clothing women's. Right, but you have to remember that the possessive adjective must come before the noun. So the correction would be women's clothing. Adjective adverb. One of these would be a basic extremely idea. But again, basic, that is a noun, okay? Extreme, well, well no, actually basic in this, well, in that specific sentence, it is a noun. But what we have to do is we have to put it as a, an extremely adverb, basic adjective idea. Now, if we do the example, a basic extremely idea, that's basically article, noun, adverb, noun. See what I mean? Because again, we're looking at a basic, right? So I'm saying that verb plus subject, okay? And an indirect question or other WH clause, what is this? This is a really just a quick example that I had written down, but let's look at this. Tell me, where is it? I spoke to John when was he here, right? You see how that's all jacked up. So what we're gonna do, instead of saying, tell me, where is it? We're going to say where it is. I spoke to John when he was here, when he was here, okay? So it is, he was, subject verb, subject verb. Just remember that. Okay, so the example, it's basically verb subject and then verb subject. It needs to be subject, verb, subject, verb. Now, let's look at preposition adverb clause marker, okay? After immediately, no, it needs to be immediately after. Okay, participle plus adverb. Baked freshly bread. No, it must be freshly baked bread, all right? Another one, adverb, adjective, or quantifier plus almost. I can tell you right now, you will get one of these. The errors are totally almost, late almost, all almost, but it must read almost totally, almost late, almost all, okay? Another word, this is quantifier plus almost too. And I think I, as a matter of fact, I literally copied it down. Well, no, wait, totally almost, late almost, all almost almost totally. Yeah, it's literally the same thing. I don't know what I did there. Who cares? Okay, so enough plus adjective. Enough good. No, it must read good enough. So what you guys here have here, I'm going to go over a couple of sample items and then you're going to have those very big exercises. Okay, these exercises are the add-ons. If you want me to do videos in regards to the exercises, make sure you reach out to me, all right? Here we go. Goods such as flowers fresh and seafood are often shipped by air, passive voice. So flowers fresh, no, fresh is an adjective. 
flowers is a plural countable noun. It must be reversed. It must read fresh flowers. Another example, visitors to Vancouver often comment on how beautiful its setting is and on how clean is it. All right. On how clean is it? But if we look at the small little parallel structure, on its setting is, its setting is. So setting, that's a it, right? And because there's a parallel here, it should read, it's, it, it, well, no, actually, that just doesn't sound right at all. But anyways, it's a reverse regard, in regards to the indirect uh, questions or the indirect sentences. So what it needs to read is its setting is and on how clean it is. Setting is, it is. Setting is, it is. They're basically it is, it is, it is, okay? The correct word order is subject plus verb, which is it is, all right? There it is. So guys, get your exercises on. Remember to review this at all times. And guys, I'll be back for a heck of a lot more. The next video is here.